What if the biggest story in crypto right now has nothing to do with charts, candles, or price targets? What if, while most people are arguing over short-term moves, something far more important is quietly reshaping the future of one blockchain? Because right now, beneath the surface of the internet computer, something unusual is happening. Not hype, not speculation, not another empty narrative. Builders are showing up, developers are shipping, and real products are going live at a pace most people are completely missing. This video is not about where ICP's price might go next week or next month. It's about something far more more foundational. It's about why developers, the people who actually decide which platforms survive long term, are increasingly choosing the internet computer over almost every other blockchain. We're going beyond price. We're diving into the architecture, the incentives, the community, and the real world use cases that are driving an explosion in developer activity right now. And by the end of this video, you'll understand why ICP's utility story is no longer theoretical. It's already unfolding. Guys, 99% of people watching don't subscribe to this channel, so please take a second to hit that subscribe. Subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. This content is for educational purposes only. It does not constitute financial advice or endorse any investment or cryptocurrency. Information is based on publicly available sources. Always do your own research before making any financial decisions. The hype is real, but the focus is wrong. Let's start by addressing the obvious. Yes. ICP has seen renewed attention in the market. Price action has brought it back into conversations. But if you think that's the real story, you're already behind. Markets react late. Developers move early. While social media debates price levels, something much more important has been happening quietly in the background. Developer activity on the internet computer has been accelerating, not because of hype, but because of functionality. This matters because long-term value in crypto does not come from narratives alone. It comes from platforms that developers actually want to build on. Every major winner in this space followed the same path. First came developers, then came applications. Price followed later. The internet computer is now firmly in that first phase again, but this time with lessons learned, infrastructure matured, and tooling that is finally ready for scale. And the reason builders are paying attention comes down to fundamentals, not marketing. Why developers matter more than price? Developers are not emotional traders. They don't chase green candles. They care about reliability, scalability, cost, and whether a platform lets them build real products without constant friction. If developers abandon a chain, no amount of marketing can save it. If developers flock to a chain, adoption follows naturally. Right now, ICP is checking boxes that most blockchains still struggle with. Not hypothetically, not on roadmaps, in production. To understand why this ecosystem is accelerating, we need to start with the technical foundation that makes ICP fundamentally different. The technical edge, why builders are choosing ICP canisters, not just smart contracts, but full applications. Most blockchains talk about smart contracts. ICP talks about canisters. This distinction matters more than it sounds. A canister on the internet computer is not a simple script that reacts to transactions. It's a full application container. It holds logic, state, memory, and even serves web content directly to users. This means developers can build entire applications fully on-chain. Front-end, back-end, database, and logic all running inside the blockchain itself. No centralized servers, no third-party cloud providers, no fragile off-chain dependencies. For developers, this is massive. It removes complexity, it reduces attack surfaces, and it allows applications to scale horizontally without redesigning the architecture every time usage grows. Canisters can automatically scale across subnets, meaning developers don't have to predict traffic spikes or manage infrastructure manually. The network handles it. This alone places ICP in a completely different category from most smart contract platforms. Infinite scalability without developer headaches. Scalability is one of the most abused words in crypto. Almost every chain claims it, but few deliver it without trade-offs. On the internet computer, scalability is is baked into the protocol itself. Instead of forcing developers to optimize around block limits, rollups, or fragmented ecosystems, ICP expands capacity by adding more subnets. Each subnet brings additional compute and storage, while maintaining security and decentralization. For builders, this means one thing. They can focus on product, not infrastructure gymnastics. When an app grows, ICP grows with it. This is exactly what developers want. Predictable scaling without rewriting core logic. The reverse gas model, a game changer for UX. Now let's talk about one of the most underrated features in crypto, the reverse gas model. On most blockchains, users pay gas fees. That creates friction, it limits adoption, and it forces developers to design around costs instead of experience. ICP flips this entirely. On the internet computer, developers pay for computation upfront using cycles, Users interact with applications without worrying about gas fees. 
From a developer's perspective, this unlocks something powerful. It allows them to design applications that feel like normal web apps. No wallet pop-ups for every action. No surprise transaction costs. No friction for new users. This is why traditional developers, especially those coming from Web2, find ICP far more approachable. They can build experiences that feel familiar to mainstream users while still being fully decentralized. That's not a small detail. That's a massive adoption lever. Seamless web integration, lowering the barrier to entry. Another reason developer growth is accelerating is how well ICP integrates with existing web technologies. Developers can use familiar languages, frameworks, and workflows. JavaScript, Rust, Motoko, and standard web tools all work seamlessly. This lowers the learning curve dramatically. Instead of forcing developers to relearn everything from scratch, ICP meets them where they already are. This matters because the fastest way to grow an ecosystem is not to attract only crypto-native developers, but to welcome traditional engineers as well. ICP does exactly that. Community-driven innovation, more than just code. Technology alone doesn't build ecosystems. Communities do. And this is where ICP has quietly built a self-sustaining engine, DAOs and on-chain governance that actually work. The Network Nervous System, or NNS, is not just governance theater. It's a functioning on-chain system that allows token holders and developers to actively shape the network. Decisions are transparent. Proposals are executed automatically. Incentives are aligned through staking and voting rewards. For developers, this creates confidence. They're not building on a platform controlled by a small group behind closed doors. They're building on a network where governance is predictable, visible, and decentralized. That trust matters when committing years of work to a platform. Grants, hackathons, and real incentives ICP's developer growth didn't happen by accident. It's been actively cultivated through grant programs, hackathons, and ecosystem funding. But what makes these initiatives effective is not just the money. It's the support structure around them. Builders receive mentorship. They get technical guidance. They get visibility within the ecosystem. This dramatically increases the odds that projects don't just start, but actually ship. And when developers see other teams succeeding, it creates momentum. Momentum attracts more builders. That's how ecosystems compound. Developer Relations The Missing Piece Most chains ignore. One of the quiet strengths of ICP is its focus on developer relations. Dedicated teams exist specifically to support builders. Documentation is improving. Tooling is maturing. Feedback loops are active. This may not sound exciting, but it's crucial. Developers don't just need technology. They need answers, support, and clarity. ICP is increasingly delivering on that front. Real-world use cases, beyond theoretical potential. All of this would mean nothing if it stayed theoretical. But it hasn't. Real applications are being built and used on the internet computer right now. Decentralized social platforms that store content fully on-chain. Enterprise-grade solutions that require predictable performance. Infrastructure services that aim to replace traditional cloud models. These are not proof-of-concept demos. They are functioning products. And what's most important is that many of these applications simply wouldn't be viable on other chains due to cost, scalability, or architectural limitations. ICP enables use cases that feel impossible elsewhere. Why developers are sticking around. Ask builders why they chose ICP and a common theme emerges. They stay because the platform lets them execute. They don't fight the protocol. They don't redesign around limitations. They don't compromise on user experience. Instead, they build. That's the strongest signal an ecosystem can send. The bigger picture. Why ICP's utility is now undeniable. When you step back and connect the dots, a clear picture forms. ICP is not trying to win by copying what others are doing. It's building an entirely different model for decentralized computing. A model where applications live fully on-chain. A model where users don't pay gas. A model where developers can scale without friction. A model where governance and incentives align long-term. This is why the developer ecosystem is growing. Not because of price. Not because of hype. But because the fundamentals finally line up. The story. Most people are missing the market will always focus on price first. That's noise. The real signal is developer behavior. And right now, developers are voting with their time, their talent, and their products. They're choosing the internet computer. 
So the next time you see ICP mentioned only in the context of price predictions, remember this. The real story is being written quietly by builders behind the scenes. And history shows that when developers lead, value follows. This isn't speculation. This is infrastructure being built in real time. And that's why ICP's utility is no longer a promise. It's already here. If you find this deep dive into the future of decentralized technology valuable, support this channel. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell icon so you don't miss future updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.